about the South African market, the performance turbochargers and the turbo specialists that are building these turbochargers and misleading the market. Uh, what I mean by this is we have a customer of ours, a long-standing client who has recently come across a number of turbochargers that he brought to us for our opinion and one of them stood out um, as being something that is not. Now let me explain. What the guys are doing in the markets are they are misleading people by putting genuine compressor housings that say Garrett or Borg Warner or Mitsubishi or whatever the case might be with, with original markings onto turbochargers that are Chinese knockoffs, cheap Chinese copies of the genuine article. Now as the agents for Garrett in the country, as well as Borg Warner and Mitsubishi and IHI and all of the, the OEM brands, we are brand ambassadors. We are here to educate the market on how the products actually work, how they look, and obviously educate the market on the actual features that the products have. Now, this specific turbocharger, which you'll see now, is a cheap Chinese knockoff of a ball bearing GT3076R. It's a ball bearing rotating assembly, water cooled. As you can see, there's no nameplate anywhere. Um, it looks great from the outside. If you look at the turbine wheel, it is friction welded, as you can see by the color. It's got a stainless steel turbine housing, which we've taken a, uh, a copy of and we've actually gone and dissected it and verified that the AR is not the same as what it claims to be. And it's got a seven blade billet compressor, which is not a Garrett design. Um, but it's got a genuine Garrett compressor housing. So this genuine Garrett compressor housing is being mounted to a copy Chinese knockoff of some ball bearing turbocharger with similar dimensions on the turbine side. It's a ball bearing turbocharger which you can see by the little uh, um, retaining uh, spline on the inlet, the oil inlet. And uh, it's got its own bullet compressor wheel, which is obviously made in China, and it's seven blades. So the GT3076 was a cast compressor. The GTX was a multi-blade compressor. At no point in time did Garrett manufacture a seven-blade bullet compressor wheel in cast or in bullet format for the GT30 range of turbochargers. And if you open the turbo or remove the compressor housing, you'll actually see that it's been machined by hand. Uh, to suit the obvious uh, uh, different compressor wheel and uh, it has been guised as a Garrett. Now let me just enforce something here guys. This is not a Garrett turbocharger. It is nothing that resembles a Garrett turbocharger. The compressor housing used is in fact from a GT3071 or a GTX3071 turbocharger and not a GTX3076. Yes, the AR ratings are the same, however the casting comes of a GTX 3071 Gen 1 turbocharger as opposed to a GTX or GT 3076 Garrett turbocharger. So the compressor housing doesn't even fit the rotating assembly. The rotating assembly is non-genuine, it is also a copy of the ball bearing. You can reference our other videos where we've tested a ball bearing copy of the G25 uh, 660 and uh, I think that video speaks for itself. Please be aware guys, if there are any questions, if you have any inquiries as to the authenticity of a turbocharger, send us photographs, bring the turbo around to us. If you are situated in another city, send as many photos as you can, videos, and we will be able to verify for you whether or not that turbocharger is in fact a genuine Garrett, or if it is a knockoff inside of genuine housings, which have obviously been found somewhere. So where turbochargers have failed, these guys are picking up these housings, they are machining them and putting Chinese internals into them, and they are being sold off as either repaired or genuine Garrett, or they don't even, sometimes the guys that are selling these or building these turbochargers won't even mention uh, anything, and they expect you just by looking at the end housing to assume, in your limited knowledge, that this is a Garrett turbocharger with a Garrett rotating assembly. When they fail, not if, the problem lies with us because the client brings the turbo to us for a warranty. 
And when we disassemble the turbo, we find that in actual fact, the turbocharger is not genuine to start off with, and it's only using a uh, genuine housing on top of a mix and match uh, Chinese copy or a Chinese knockoff or uh, 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 some sort of fake turbocharger inside of a, uh, a genuine housing. So guys, be careful out there. Um, I hope this video is educational. We're gonna be making a lot of uh, videos and we're going to turn them beware before you buy just to increase the education out there so that you guys can be aware and educated before you purchase something that you might assume is something that it's not so i hope this has been educational please post comments down at the bottom at the bottom like dislike give us some uh, constructive criticism and don't forget to subscribe see you next time